Hi, today's video is going to be about um, probability and genetics. And today's problem is, what is the probability that brown-eyed heterozygous parents will have first brown-eyed girl, then brown-eyed boy, and third child uh, will have blue eyes. And this is going to be girl. So, uh, if you think that you can solve this problem, you can stop video here try to solve this problem on your own and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is my explanation and uh, we given here order so this would be very easy to solve this problem much easier uh, than those problems where order is not given those if you know formula it's also relatively easy to do. So, um, our order today would be first uh, brown-eyed girl, so I would use brown color for this uh, girl, so this is uh, girl, and second child would be brown-eyed boy, so this is going to be boy, and the last uh, child should be blue-eyed girl, so here is a blue-eyed girl. And uh, in order to solve this problem, first uh, we have to start with um, uh, genotype of the parents. And we told that genotype of the parents, uh, that parents are heterozygous. For example, I would use capital A and small a uh, for the heterozygous. And uh, here would be, for example, parent 1 and parent 1 would be heterozygous, so capital A, small a, and parent 2 also would be heterozygous, so once again capital A, small a, both these parents would be uh, brown-eyed, but would also have uh, one uh, recessive allele, small a. So here we build Punnett square, and as you see, uh, we can predict the outcome of such cross. So here we would have capital A, capital A, and here capital A, small a, capital A, small a, and small a, small a. And as you see, all these three genotypes here would be brown. So this is going to be three quarters. And one quarter going to be blue-eyed child of not specified gender, as uh, a gender can be uh, any, so this would be one quarter, and this information would help us to solve this problem. So uh, we have to ask ourselves uh, the question, what is the probability for the first child? Uh, for example, I would put uh, uh, G one here, so this is first child, here would be second child, and here would be third child. So what is the probability that the first child would be girl? And the probability would be one half, because uh, the chances are equal to have the first child with a boy or girl. It's just like a toss of coin. So the same uh, idea. So. Uh, we would have uh, to put probability as one half. And uh, the second question that we have to ask ourselves, what is the probability that this girl uh, would be brown-eyed? And as you see here from this table, the uh, prediction of the probability is three quarters uh, is the chances that uh, this girl would be brown-eyed. So we have to multiply these chances. So this is, would be three quarters. And then uh, what is the probability that the second child would be a boy? Once again, no matter what the gender of the first child, this doesn't have any effect on the gender of the following chi child. So the probability that the second child would be a boy, once again, would be one half. So the chances uh, that this would be a girl or boy equal, so one half. 
And uh, what is the chances that uh, second child, this boy, would have uh, brown eyes? And once again, as we see from this uh, table, the chances are uh, 3 out of 4. So we have to multiply by 3 out of 4. And now, uh, what is the chances that uh, the third child would be a girl? Once again, chances is 1 half. And what is the chances that this girl would have uh, blue eyes? And as you see here, chances is 1 quarter. So we have to multiply these uh, chances. Because this is two independent events, we have to use multiplication. So this would be 1 quarter and now we also because each uh, event here uh, would be independent uh, we have to multiply all these uh, events together and what we are going to get would be um, for the uh, first girl chances would be three eighths for the second boy to be brown eyed, uh, chances would be also 3 eighths. And for the third girl to be blue eyed, uh, the chances would be um, 1 eighths. Once again, uh, this is chances for the first child to be a uh, girl brown eyed. Uh, boy brown eyed chances are equal as you see here and uh, third child to be a girl and uh, have blue eyes chances would be one eighth so the answer here would be nine over five hundred twelve we cannot uh, simplify this answer because we cannot divide five hundred 12 by 9 in order to get a uh, round number or we cannot uh, uh, divide by 3 so this would be our answer thank you for attention this is all for today thumbs up if you like this video goodbye